everybody, I'm Lisa, behind the cameras, Bill, together we are Bill Lisa. Welcome to our channel and welcome to season two. We are blasting off to infinity and beyond and we don't want you to miss a minute of the fun, so make sure you click that subscribe button down below. We have made it into Disney California Adventure. We are heading into Cars Land so that we can give you some hidden secrets and information about this land. Let's go. Cars Land opened up here in Disney California Adventure on June 15th, 2012. It opened up on just over 12 acres of land. Originally, before Disney California Adventure opened, this whole area was a parking lot for Disneyland. Once they started opening areas of Disney California Adventure and building on top of the parking lot, they left this area of Cars Land a parking lot that they named Timon. The Disney Imagineers got their inspiration for Cars Land from the fictional town Radiator Springs in the movie Cars and from Route 66 that runs from Chicago to California. Cars Land has three rides, one of which is Mayor's Junkyard Jamboree. But make sure as you're walking through the line that you look around at all of the really cool things that they have on display. Let's head inside Sarge's Surplus Hut to check out a full model of Cars Land. You know it, Lava? The Cozy Cone Motel is so amazing because everything back here is made of cones. But there's something really special that you don't want to miss. Let's head back to the office so I can show it to you. Just like you like Right inside the Cozy Cone office, you will see a cone with Buzz Lightyear's feet hanging out below. And this is replicating the street crossing scene in Toy Story 2, right in there. You can get so many different snacks and things to eat in here. For example, there's the popcorn stand. The frozen concoctions stand. The chili cone queso stand. The ice cream cones stand. And churros. <laughs> because they're always tired. If you've seen the movie Cars, you might remember Fillmore trying to explain why the third blink on the flashing light is always longer. Well, if you head into Cars Land, you might find the exact same thing if you take a moment and actually watch it. Punishment for speeding through town, Doc Hudson made him repave 
the main road into town. As you can see here in Carsland, they have replicated that as well, and they don't leave out any of the little details. The side streets all have an older pavement, and the main street is freshly paved by Lightning McQueen. In the window of the shop, Radiator Springs Curios, you'll see a sign in the window. Catmull Oil, and this is in dedication to Ed Catmull, who was the president of Pixar Studios and Disney Animation. Make sure if you head to Cars Land, you stop by Flo's V8 Cafe. Whether you're a carnivore or an herbivore, they have something that you'll enjoy eating. The second ride in Cars Land is Luigi's Rollickin' Roadsters. But what's even better than the ride are the things you'll find along the line queue inside. Let's head in. recommended for Lightning McQueen when he was getting ready to get new tires for his race. Usually the line for Luigi's Rollick and Roasters is so short that people walk right by this area, but in these display cases there are some really cool souvenirs of Luigi. Check out everything up close, but there are a couple things I want to point out to you in particular. Come over here. filled with Route 66 memorabilia, but the magic in this shop is actually in the windows. In each window is a painted hood to a car, and in every hood, you will find a hidden Mickey if you look close enough. Right here, within the lace, towards the bottom, you're going to find a hidden Mickey. And when this ride opened on June 15th, 2012, the wait times were up to six hours long. This ride cost over $200 million to build, being the most expensive attraction inside any of the Disney resorts and one of the most expensive in any amusement park in the world. Radiator Springs Racers offers three options as far as the lines are concerned. Of course, there's the standby normal waiting line. You can also get a fast pass, but generally the fast passes for this ride are gone pretty early in the morning, so you need to get one first thing. But the third option is the single rider line. So as long as you don't mind being split up from your party, you can head into the single rider line and usually get on anywhere from five to 15 minutes. The backdrop of Cars Land is Cadillac Mountain Range, and it is a replica of tail fins of six years of Cadillacs, 1957, 58, 59 being the tallest, standing at 125 feet, 60, 61, and 62. It covers 300,000 square feet of land just to show Cadillac Mountain Range. 
video here. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the words of Walt Disney himself, if you can dream it, you can do it. So get out there and live your best life, but not before subscribing to our channel down below. Bye.